Hello YouTube and welcome to the series of videos called The Road to Full Planche. In these videos I'll be filming each one of my workouts for the planche and comment on all the different aspects about making progress. Now back in June of 2014 I was getting close to doing the planche but then I had to stop training for the entire summer and I lost some of my progress. At first I was a little bit sad and depressed but of course I was determined to start progressing again and that's when it hit me. This is a great opportunity to show others how I progress with the planche. I want to show you just how much time and effort it takes and that it's really about smart training instead of hard training. I'm gonna talk about bent arm pushing strength versus straight arm pushing strength, about how to improve both of them because they're both important and how to avoid injuries and it's just too much to put in one video. In this first episode I'm gonna explain why you should be improving your bent arm pushing strength because a lot of people neglect it. Now when we watch a full planche tutorial we get the same old showcase of the different planche levels. We are being told to do pseudo planche push-ups, to work out hard and to never give up and that's not a bad thing but what most people end up doing is neglecting exercises like dips, push-ups and handstand push-ups. And it's not the tutorial's fault, it's our fault. Even I did this back in 2012. I focused on static holds and what happened is that I couldn't move beyond the advanced tucked planche. But I am going to talk about static holds more in the next video. So for now, let's focus on why bent arm pushing strength is so important. Have you seen videos from these two channels? You should go and check them out. These two guys can hold planches with very, very good form. They've got locked elbows and they also have hollow backs, which to me is even more important. Uh, they're also very good at planche push-ups and they're absolute beasts at handstand push-ups. And that's when it hit me. These guys have been doing a lot of straight arm training for sure, but most probably they haven't been neglecting their bent arm exercises. So when I started to do handstand push-ups and dips again, I finally moved beyond the advanced tucked and started to progress. Now when we train our bent arm strength, we do exercises like dips, push-ups and handstand push-ups. And these exercises bring a different type of conditioning to your shoulders, triceps and chest, which static holds simply don't. In fact, when done right, static holds put more pressure on the biceps, the forearm and your elbow in general, rather than your triceps or shoulder. But you still need that raw muscle condition for your triceps, your shoulders and your chest and that's where these exercises come into place. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, let me show you my routine. I start off with 4 sets of handstand push-ups. I want to do them without momentum because that's the best way to do any movement when your goal is strength. I know many of you aren't able to do freestanding handstand push-ups and that's okay. It's the conditioning that we're after, not the balance. So you can easily replace freestanding handstand push-ups with push-ups on the wall. But you must do them slowly with good form and no momentum. I say this because anytime I see someone doing wall supported handstand push-ups, most of the time they do them very fastly, which is what you don't want to do. They use help from their legs and this will result in poor conditioning of the muscle even though they might be doing more reps than me. In this particular workout my lack of training during the summer was definitely showing. I start off with 6 reps then go down to 4 and then 2. Now to put it in perspective before the summer I was doing 8 to 10 handstand push-ups all the time and I would sometimes push it to 12. In moments like these, the most important thing to do is to be focused, patient and confident in your ability to improve again. Now the way we improve is by never doing less than we did in the previous workout. You always want to do a little bit more. So today I did this much reps and in the next workout I'm going to be aiming at something like this or this. Now this might seem logical to you and I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence but I just see too many people not counting their reps, not remembering how much they did the last time 
and just doing whatever they feel like what people tend to do is just wait until they feel the muscle burning and just stop then and that's good if you're a bodybuilder because then you gauge process by looking in the mirror judging your appearance not your performance but when you want to make full planche progress you really gotta look at how you're performing and not how you feel uh, that's the basis for any strength progress so the question is are you getting stronger not are you looking stronger I continue the workout with four sets of dips and four sets of push-ups just like bodybuilders sometimes start off with upper chest lower chest and then do a flat bench press I pretty much do the same but with bodyweight exercises with handstand push-ups I develop upper chest and shoulders with dips I do lower chest and shoulders and with push-ups I focus on the entire chest now because those handstand push-ups drain my power very quickly it will be a while until I start to do more than 10 reps on each set of dips and push-ups but that time will come as long as my progressions are smart and methodical I finish off the workout with 4 sets of triceps push-ups just to condition the triceps which has already gone through a good amount of stimulation and it would be a real shame not to finish off that muscle. And that is the end of my workout. So the first thing I have to complete is to be able to do every set of every exercise with 10 reps. If I want to get serious about getting the planche done properly I have to be able to do this and the guys I mentioned earlier I'm sure they can do everything I showed with 10 reps on each set obviously if it wasn't for the handstand push-ups I would be done with this already but that's where the challenge will be in those first four sets of handstand push-ups <laughs> 